How do we measure angles? And why do degrees exist? Let's talk about it. So suppose we have a vertex O and a ray A and another ray B. Well, an angle is just the rotation from one ray to another. So how much turning needs to happen to get from ray A to ray B? That's what an angle is. Now, how about a circle? Why are there 360 degrees in a circle? Well, there are a lot of reasons. It's pretty complicated, but one reason, which is kind of a fun little story, is that astronomers noticed that there are about 360 days in a year, so they divided a circle into 360 parts, and that kind of stuck. Okay, so now let's draw another circle, and let's talk about some degrees. Let's say right here, what is that? That's zero degrees. Right here is 90 degrees. This is 180, and this is 270. And then we go back to the start, and that's 360. And we can keep going if we want to, but we'll stop there for now. So degrees are like checkpoints on the circle. If we start at our starting point and draw a ray there, if we want to turn up to 190, or rather <laughs> up to 90, that is a quarter of a turn on the circle. And if we want to turn all the way to 180, that is a half a turn a half a turn on the circle, and so on. Okay, let's talk about angle direction now. Angle direction. So here is a x and y axis. So if we turn this way, that is a positive angle. And if we turn this way, that is a negative angle. And that will come in handy once we start graphing angles or using trigonometry. So real quick practice, let's draw some angles. So this, this is 45. All right, this is 120. This is negative 30. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.